piece. Oh, please. It's obvious. I just got done. The meditation. A very, a very great meditation. Didn't, ex didn't expect this. Didn't expect this feeling. These amazing rush of emotions. So bear with me. <laughs> oh, I felt absolutely incredible. Last time I teared up for my meditation, it was, oh my God, my hair. Last time was about four years ago, maybe five years ago. Oh my God. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Pure feeling of bliss. You know why? Because everything is so simple. <laughs> everything in this life, life. It's so simple, yeah, we overcomplicate so much. We overcomplicate so much. I felt the most incredible feeling, felt the most incredible feeling of pure bliss. Why? Because I was just so in love with the present moment. So so, so, so in love with the present moment. The present moment is so incredible. Yet we have so much, we have so much going on in our lives that we forget how truly incredible it is. The present moment. I'm taking my time with this. I don't even want to edit out this video. I'm gonna keep this all natural. Let all the emotions roll off. I literally just got out of the meditation. Wow, and I'll, and I'll explain how I got into this state, what my day was like, and you know, the, the events leading up to this. I'll explain that as well. Yeah, you know, I'm usually super energized when I'm making my videos, but right now, you know, I just, I just want to give you this raw emotion because I'm in such a peaceful state. Peace, oh please. <laughs> it's obvious. Peace, oh please. It's obvious. Life is so obvious. It's so simple. Yeah, we overcomplicate so much. Okay, so let me explain. I'll start from the beginning. I'll start from, I, I, know, I just looked at time 333. <laughs> life, is, life is so simple, it is. Let, let me explain, let me explain. So this morning, this morning, so this morning I did visualizations. I did the exercise where you squeeze, where you squeeze the perineum and then you visualize the energy going from the root chakra to the crown chakra. I visualized that. I did that this morning for about 20 minutes. It was like 6.20 to, excuse me, excuse me, 6.20 to 6.40. I did it and I was doing the, the, the squeeze. No, I didn't do that the whole time. I did that for about like five to 10 minutes maybe and then the rest was visualizing the field around me, the, my electromagnetic field around me. And then visualizing the space in my room, feeling the space, not visualizing, feeling the space in my room and then outside of my room as well. And then I brought elevated emotions into the mix, elevated emotions such as gratitude and feeling gratitude for my desired future because you have to feel, you have to feel if you, if you want magical, amazing things to happen sometimes, to speed up the process, to speed up the manifestation, 
to bring more into your life so you can tap into that certain frequency of whatever you desire. You can bring these elevated emotions of gratitude as if you already feel it in your meditations. That's what I did. I did that. Felt incredible. Felt incredible. And then, what did I do after that? I just moved on with my day. After that, I just, oh, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. After that, I, I meditated for about an, another hour. I meditated for an hour. Just mindfulness meditation, just focusing just on my breath. Just focusing completely on my breath for an hour. I did that and I, that was, it felt great. It was a, a, little, a little difficult at first. It, um, you know, I was, I was trying to get into really deep states because I wanted to astral project. That was, that was the goal. But my mind was like super awake because like I went outside. I went outside like real quick to say bye to my girlfriend and help her with the bags. Um, and it was like freezing outside so that helped like wake me up a lot. And so like I was, I was pretty awake when I was meditating for about an hour. And so then my, my thoughts were uh, a little more intrusive basically. And so it was harder to get into that borderline sleep state. And so... Yeah, so it was hard to get into that borderline sleep state, but it felt really good. It felt really great. It felt super peaceful. I guess this video is gonna be a day in the life, maybe. I'll explain my day. <laughs> and so, so yeah, it felt great. It felt really awesome. And then like towards the very end, towards the very end, what felt like about 50 to an hour in, that's when I really started getting to that close to borderline sleep state i started i think i might have like went into a slight like i slightly dozed off a little dozed off a little bit and um i was like in the car it was weird it was like, i was like in a car and i was like i think i was like trying to park it or or maybe leave a parking spot and like the car was like going back and like there was a wall but like the car was still going back it was going like almost like through the wall it was kind of like turning and I might have been even in the back seat and it was like turning so that was like weird <laughs> and then but it was like quick and then I I woke back into my, my my meditation back into my breathing my back right into my breathing mindfulness breathing and then after that yeah it felt I felt like I consciously was like really in a in a deep state but i was like okay we're getting closer it's almost time to lift off to astral project because that's that's how it usually is you, you go into that borderline sleep state and that's when the astral projections happen so but it didn't work out that way it hit an hour that my uh my alarm went off and then my alarm went off and then yeah and i was just moving on with my day. I moved on with my day, worked on, I filmed the astral projection video, filmed the astral projection video, and then worked on editing it and then like uh, posting it. I, I didn't post it exactly, I like put on unlisted, whatever, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. And then I worked on some other stuff, some TikToks, um, Instagram, answering a bunch of people. That's what I did, I answered a bunch of people. And then after that, so that, that was the, the majority of the day, honestly. And the day is not over, clearly not even over. It's in the afternoon right now. And then I got a message. I, uh, I got this message from a fan and uh, they, they felt like they basically gave me this message that they were basically calling me like a fake. They were like, call me a fake, like saying that like I wasn't really, like I was trying to fake helping to, I'm faking helping to raise universal consciousness. <laughs> um, and that was like, it was super shocking to me. It was super shocking to me. Cause that's all, that's, that's like what I do. Like my posts my messages, it's all, my life is geared towards love and spreading love, uplifting consciousness. 
that, that's just who I am ever since my spiritual awakening. And it was just shocking because they really, I mean, they, I've been, you know, talking with them for a while, been talking with them for a while. And then they, they say this, they sent me this message. It caught me so off guard. It caught me so off guard, you know, I was, I was, yeah, it hurt, you know, it hurt because, I mean, I, of course, like, I get, like, messages that aren't, like, the kindest and all because I, I get a, I have had a lot of posts that went viral and, you know, when, when, especially when posts go viral, there's a lot of people out there that are, there's just so many haters, right? So many haters and so whatever, like, those, those haters I don't really care about, but, like, one of my fans like to say something like this it was like super shocking super shocking and it hurt and like you know i felt it like i felt that really energetically just just felt pain um and so you know yeah usually really easy to brush it off you know and like haters really easy to brush off but this time it was a, it was a tad bit more difficult and so, yeah, so it was a little more difficult and like I wanted to continue working on stuff, but I felt this emotional block. I felt that this, this was an emotional block for me. And I felt like if I didn't deal with it, if I didn't deal with it, oh, I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. That's what's happening. Sorry, getting eaten alive, I'm so itchy. Oh my god, they're surrounding me. Right, I'm going I'm to keep, keep this going for the video. Despite all the mosquitoes surrounding me. Um, maybe I should go up there away from the mosquitoes. This is really bad. They're surrounding me. Alright. So. That was a lot of pollen there. Ugh. All right, we're gonna go up here real quick. I'm gonna go up here. Oh God, it's so itchy. Pollen is covering my screen. All right, sorry for the for that little interruption. <laughs> um, but okay, so yeah, it felt like an emotional block, and like I really wanted to continue on with you know working on the stuff that I was doing. But I wanted to get over this emotional block. I knew if I got into I got into a meditative state and was able to process this. I knew that I was gonna be able to handle this and come to peace with this so much easier. So, excuse me. That's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> Still got some congestion from the crying. <laughs> gonna get into that too. But yeah, I felt, you know, yeah, I felt hurt and I, I knew I was gonna have to go, get over this with my meditation. So I, I sat right out here in the sun Let's go right. Wanna get back in the sun. I love being in the sun. So yeah, so I'm sitting here right here in the in the sun meditating and it feels absolutely it felt absolutely my girlfriend just called me. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so where was I? So I, I'm sitting here, I'm meditating, and I'm just focusing on my breath, just focusing on my breath. And then I start doing a little bit of, I do the perineum squeezes again, bringing the energy from my root chakra to my crown chakra. So I'm doing that because what that what happens when you when you do that is the energy. There's these proteins and salts that go up the spinal, uh, go up your spine, and the spinal fluid, it 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 goes through the thalamic gates, and then it what it does is it creates this chemical reaction where your analytical mind becomes, uh, it, it, it gets like shut down almost. It gets like paused. So you're not thinking so much. So you're not analyzing as much and you're not, you know what I mean? So I was doing that and this, this is amazing because it also activates the pineal gland and that was one of my goals as well to activate my pineal gland. So I was doing that. I was looking up as my eyes are closed as well. That's another good thing you can do to activate your pineal gland. And so I was doing that. And then 
I'm so I'm doing this. I'm doing these exercises. Then I start chanting Om Padne, Om Mani Padne Hum, and uh, that's a chant. It's a it's a Hindu chant, and it's basically like helping. It's it's this it's this energy energetical phrase that is helping to put you more into alignment with the universe and your desires boosting your vibration so i did that gave it a try did that for a little bit it felt good all this felt really great and then oh mosquitoes man so <laughs> so i did that did that and then so this is a, probably around like 13 12 to 15 minutes in i start I start just I bring it back to just my breath I bring my awareness back to just my breath and then I start start focusing on my chakras I start visualizing this beam of energy coming from my from my root chakra and channeling it up to my crown chakra and to my my eighth chakra as well that's above the head so I'm, I'm channeling this beam from my root chakra to my eighth chakra and as soon as I do this I start feeling like this rush of loving emotions and then I and then I start thinking thank you God thank you universe thank you God thank you universe and oh my god I'm so itchy <laughs> as um, I'm, I'm just thinking this and feeling these elevated emotions and oh yeah I skipped over <laughs> So like actually it, towards like the beginning around five minutes in that's when I started to think about what that fan said to me and I, I was already like so at peace with it I, as as it came into my mind I was already so at peace with it I was already thinking like like I'm at peace with it because I feel so much love I'm thinking this to myself I'm, I'm at peace with it because I feel so much love for everyone, for this person. I feel so much love for them. And it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. And so I did this in the meditative state. Was already, already completely okay with it. Completely okay with it. Doesn't bother me one bit. Not anymore. And so, so I'm channeling the beam, right? I'm channeling this beam of this energy and I'm feel I'm thinking like thank you God thank you universe for this beautiful life thank you God thank you universe, for, this, for this beautiful life and I'm just and then I kind of silence myself for a moment and I'm just feeling the Sun hitting me and it feels so peaceful so peaceful and I just feel so much love overcoming me such bliss I feel such such bliss and all of a sudden, I start tearing up. I start feeling like I start choking up because I feel so, so, so happy, so happy, and so grateful just to be alive. And I'm and I'm thinking this to myself like, it's it's so simple. I'm thinking to myself like, it's so simple. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, thank you, universe. And I'm just feeling the sun, and it all feels so incredible. The wind. You can hear right now, <laughs> the wind is blowing and it feels so good. All of it feels so incredible. I'm like, and I'm thinking, this is it. This is all I need. This is, this is all I need. I'm so, so at peace, feeling so whole by just being me, by just being alive. And by just being alive and just feeling the experience of the moment being present completely completely present with it I feel I start tearing up more I start tearing up even more tears just start rolling down my face because I'm feeling such such immense love such tremendous love peace oh please it's obvious I feel such immense love such peace I start I'm crying at this point I'm I'm, I'm smiling I'm basically smiling and I'm crying at the same time and I feel this immense joy, immense peace and love. 
And that was just 20 minutes. And that was just 20 minutes of meditation. Uh, but yeah, you might not feel that just from 10 to 20 minutes of meditation, because you also have to remember that I meditated this morning for an hour and 20 minutes, and I, I've been doing this just about every single day, meditating for about an hour every single day. And, oh God, it, 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 this was the experience I felt. This is the most, one of the most incredible experiences I've felt. And, you know, the, the, the first time that I've had this experience where tears were rolling down my face because of the immense peace of the moment, that was always like, I always thought back like, yeah, that was the most incredible experience I've ever felt from meditation. That was the most incredible experience I've ever felt from meditation. That was for, a, for a long time here, four, five years, that was one of the most incredible experiences. And now here I am, I just meditate and I, I felt it, I felt the same. Maybe even better this time. I think he, honestly, this, this time is even better. This is one of the most incredible, one of the most incredible feelings I've ever experienced from meditation. I was just so, I'm so grateful. And you know, I, as I'm crying so much love and I have to wrap this up because I have to go actually to a wedding, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm feeling so much peace and love. And at the same time, I'm thinking like, it's just so simple and I'm crying and I'm thinking it's so simple. It's just so simple. This is all, this is all like, why, why do, why do we need all, why, we don't need anything. We don't need all these things. We don't need material things. We don't need any of that. We don't need it. It's all distractions. Don't you see everything around us is basically a, a complete distraction from feeling completely whole. It's all a distraction from feeling completely whole and in love with yourself and the, the present moment. You see, you know, video games, buy, people, people have goals, you know, to buy fancy stuff. And it's like, how can that, that's such short term happiness. That's such short term happiness. This feeling is going to carry through, you know, this, this feeling that you feel from meditation, it carries through and it's so much, so much more incredible, so much more incredible that what you can feel from just getting or buying something new. You know, video games will not give you this feeling. Video games will not give you this feeling. They won't. They, they just, they just can't. <laughs> Especially because your brain is probably in beta waves, but that's, you know, it's just so incredible and I'm, I'm so, so grateful. I'm so happy that I get to share this with you. So yeah, this is not a full day in the life because I got to go to a wedding now and, um, you know, so, and this is like afternoon, but if you watch to the end, I love you so much. And if you're not subscribed and you watch to the end, please subscribe because this spiritual, this journey, I'm, I'm gonna keep putting out so much more content. I wanna, I wanna help inspire so many lives to feel the immense love for themselves, especially what I just felt right now. So hit the bell notification, you know what it is. <laughs> yeah, so m many more videos coming. Uh, this is great. This is, uh, yeah, this is an awesome experience. And yeah, so thank you so much. Appreciate you. Much love, peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease, it's obvious. <laughs>